Hey what's up you guys, today I thought I would do another top 10 favourite artist list thing. Today I thought I would feature Prince. Prince is another one of my favourites, he's on like my triple threat of favourite artists. Um, I love him so much um, and I thought yeah, let's give you my top 10 favourite Prince songs. Just briefing this as I always do, it's very difficult to compile a list from someone like Prince that has had 39 studio albums, someone that has sold over 100 plus million records worldwide, but yeah, I just thought I want to brief that by saying it's very difficult, if you don't see a song that's on list list, I'm sorry, let's move on. Okay, so at number 10 I have the song Extra Lovable of Prince's final album uh, when he was alive. Uh, hit and Run Phase 2. Extra Lovable was re originally released as a single in 2011, um, but was featured on the album when it released in 2015. I believe it was like November, December time in 2015. Um, and it's by far my favourite on this record completely. It's so funky. It's Prince being all sexual and shit, but at this late in his career and in his life, the fact that he's still remaining true to who he is and the kind of themes he talks about in his songs, um, I just really love that. Although the song was originally recorded back in the day in 1982, so that probably makes sense as to why it's kind of talking about the things that younger Prince would talk about, uh, if that made sense, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that it's a great song. Um, it's just amazing. Um, and I just love it so much. Okay, and at number nine I have Prince's 1999, um, which is the first single off the album 1999, um, which is such a fun, funky song. Um, it, there's, there's, a, there's a lyric in there which, re which really resonated with me when he died, which is, um, life is just a party and parties weren't meant to last. Um, I think I had a stroke while saying that. Fuck, that would be ironic. But yeah, it's just such a great song. Um, so it was released in 1982. It's one of those quintessential classic Prince songs. It's like one of his most famous. It's like when you hear it, it's classic Prince. Um, and it's just a fun loving song. It's really great. It's kind of like almost apocalyptic. It's like what's gonna happen in 1999? This is all gonna end. And I, I don't know, I just really love it. It's such a fun song with really cool subliminal messaging throughout, and um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites. Okay, and at number eight, I have Prince's Pop Life from the album Around the World. Um, this song is actually a, a surprise for me. Um, with a song, um, with a song, with a record like hits with Raspberry Beret and stuff like that, I thought that Pop Life, when I first heard it, I was gonna forget about it, but the more I listened to it, the more I really got into it. It was released in a single, um, as a single in 1985, um, but they didn't have a music video with it, like Prince did not conform to like what everyone else was doing, he just did his own thing, released as a single, and that was that. Um, hit number seven on the Billboard charts, and um, it, you can see why, it's such a great song. Um, again, it's kind of funky and danceable, but with like serious messaging throughout. My favourite quote from the song is, what are you putting in your nose, is that where all your money goes? It's kind of him realising what this pop life is, and um, that it's not what he expected it to be, and the fact that he's almost struggling with that, and the pressures that famous people have put on them, um, which, you know, for your average Joe, it's like, whatever, we're not famous, so it doesn't matter. But it's nice to see that side of Prince, the kind of vulnerable side, where he's like almost crying out for help, um, but it's more he's kind of analysing what is actually happening in the world, and why people are so fucked up. Um, it's, it's just a great album, um, and a great record as well, and a great song, I don't know what songs albums, shut up Josh. This next song is really beautiful, it's on uh, one of my lists of my top 10 favourite songs, um, Nothing Compares to You. I love Sinead O'Connor's O'Connor version, it's probably, I prefer it to Prince's if I'm being completely brutally honest, sorry Prince, um, but Prince's rendition of this song is incredible, and it's nice to hear it because for those of you who didn't know, Prince wrote the song for Sinead O'Connor, um, and but it's nice to hear the way he had intended it for it to sound when he was writing the song, and it's nice to hear his take on it because the songs, although word for word they're the same, his take on it is so different, and it's just he puts his fucking Prince stamp on it, and I love it so much. It was never really released on like any of his solo albums, more than I think it was on like Greatest Hits or something like that. Overall, I really love the song. Next up, I have this funk and roll of Artificial Age, released in 2014. This was one of the first Prince records I ever heard. Um, I got it in HMV. I didn't even realise 
Prince had released a new album and it was just at the time I was getting into Prince. Um, so I was like, let's give it a listen. And Funk and Roll is a song that I've always come back to years after hearing the album and all of his other work that he's done. This song is the one I still come back to. It's the one I still love to listen to. It really puts me in a great mood. Um, and again, it's completely just Prince, Funk, everything that you'd expect from a Prince song. Um, but later in his career, which is also nice um, to find, to realise that he's like gone back to his roots almost and just doing what he does best. Um, but yeah, it's from, from this great record as well and I really recommend it. Okay, and at number five I have Prince's Cream. This is what Prince does best. This is Prince in his fucking mojo, talking about sex and being sexual because that is what he does best and it really comes across in the music video and in the song that he is just so passionate about what he does and the lyrics and the songwriting great. It's just such a good song. Um, if you haven't heard it, I really... It, it, this is a good way to get into Prince. Like, start with Cream, and then, because it kind of all makes sense, like, what he's about and what he does, almost. Um, I just love it. This was a single from the 1991 album Diamonds and Pearls. Was it called Diamonds and Pearls? I think it was called Diamonds and Pearls. No. Yes. Shit. I love the mini guitar solo when he says, look up in the air, it's your guitar, and then there's like a little guitar solo. I just, I love that part of the song. It's probably my, my favourite bit of the song. It's so good. I recommend it. Go listen to it. You won't regret it. Number five, or wherever we are on the list, I've lost count. I have Starfish and Coffee from the amazing fucking album Sign of the Time. This song, Starfish and Coffee, is one of my personal faves. Like Funk and Roll, I always come back to it. Um, it it's just so good, and I, and I love that when I first heard it, I just loved the sound of it, and I liked it for that on its own, but the more I've listened to it and the more I've kind of researched the song and the more kind of speculation and theories there are around the song just makes it so interesting to me and compelling for me to go back and listen to it as one of my favourite Prince songs. Um, it's just one of those personal favourites that I have. Like on each of these lists I do, there's always one that you probably wouldn't expect, like a Madonna was Wash All Over Me, Michael's Maybe Butterflies. Um, this is my one for Prince because it's just kind of that one that maybe isn't talked about as much as it should be and I fucking love it so much. Okay, so one of the theories around this song goes like this. I feel like Shane Dawson doing a conspiracy video right now. But the conspiracy or theory even is that there was a girl called Cynthia Rose who was mentioned in the song and it's kind of, she's the protagonist in the song almost. Protagonist probably isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, and it's, it, she has mental health issues. Um, this is just a theory. Um, so she has mental health issues um, and it's kind of the way that she perceives the world. Um, it's like she's almost from another planet and she's experiencing our life for the her first time, but the way she does so is in her own quirky ways. There are two theories. One, that this is because of mental health, and two, because she's an actual alien. But either way, um, so Cynthia being an alien from another planet um, is, is probably kind of the one I like to think of it as, like a just a girl named Cynthia Rose who's from another planet, she's came here, she's just experiencing life for the first time and it's just kind of her way of coping and dealing with it. And it's kind of, we're looking through the world from her eyes and the way that she deals with stuff and the way her outlook on the world and stuff. I know, it's just such a nice song to listen to. At number three I have My Name Is Prince. My Name Is Prince is one of those quintessential Prince anthems that you have to listen to. Um, it's such a fucking rebellious, Fuck you song to the world, um, which Prince does best. It reminds me of Madonna's Bitch I'm Madonna in the sense that it's like, I'm Prince, I'm probably better than you, and you can suck it. It's just so good to listen to. Again, it's a very up, uh, not upbeat almost, but like, feel good song. It makes you feel good listening to it. Empowering almost, I would say. Um, it's just so good. I love it so much. This was a single in 1992 from the Love Symbol album, which is another really good. Uh, album. Another one of my favourites from that album is I Wanna Melt With You, which I would say is an honourable mention. Another great album, but this song in particular is my favourite. Okay, and the next song I have is from Prince's Parade album, and it is Sometimes It Snows in April, which is such a sad, sweet song. Um, so the song was made for the film Under the Cherry Tree, and it's about Prince's character from the film who, spoilers, dies, Christopher Tracy. And it's from the narrator's standpoint, it's how Christopher Tracy's death kind of resonates with him and how it affects him. Um, oh, it's just so sweet, it really hits me whenever I listen to it, I love it so much. Also from the narrator's standpoint, it's how 
he wants to rejoice with um, Christopher Tracy in heaven and how there's like an afterlife and, and it's, it's, death is one of my favourite things to talk about. Love talking about the afterlife, love talking like shit like that. And this song kind of suggests parts of that, I guess. The song when it came out didn't do well. Um, the highest it got anywhere in the world was at number 14 in France. In the UK it did the lowest and it charted at like 193 in the top charts. Um, but when he died, sales for this album skyrocketed, um, sales for this song skyrocketed, um, and which was really weird for me personally. So it was just after Prince died, and it was April time, and me and my friend were walking around town, and in April, like, it, was, it wasn't like sunny, but it wasn't like really cloudy, but it wasn't raining. It was very strange weather. It looked like it was going to snow, like the sky was weird. It, it was very strange, and then like a few flakes of snow started to fall um i was just like the fuck is happening um like i was all i could think of was this song and all i could think of was prince and all i could just i was getting very fucking worked up about the situation i had and then it just stopped like no rain no nothing it just stopped and I, that fucking i have to put it on the list, list for that because prince is probably up there and he's like josh i'll throw a fucking hailstone in your face if you don't put the song on the list um, but yeah, just for that reason as well, I have to put it on the list. And finally, my number one Prince song is Purple Rain from the album Purple Rain. This is such a quintessential, great song. Not even for Prince, just generally. It's one of those amazing songs that you have to listen to. And it's one of those songs that you can't not like. It's so good. It's probably one of the greatest songs ever written. Watching him perform it live is another thing completely and the way that he changes the way he performs every time he does so is so incredible to watch and to witness and it was the first single from the album in 1984 it was number two in the u.s for about two weeks and um, it sold like one million units um i think in the uk um and then when he died that like tripled it rose to number one of the itunes charts um and I, I just I just love that that happened because I'm glad people got to remember and realise how great this song was. And for a lot of people it kind of opened the door up for Prince's music and stuff like that. Since Prince's death, which is over a year ago now, it has sold 2 million copies just on the song alone on iTunes. Which is incredible and amazing that that has happened because it's such an album and a song that deserves that credibility. And, and I was reading more about the song Purple Rain in preparation for this video and I found um, something online that was talking about like what Purple Rain is and what it means and it's basically at the end of the world stuff happens and Purple Rain will fall or something like that. What did I write? Yeah, it was Purple Rain pertains the end of the world and the at the end of the world you want to be with the one that you love through the end of the world and you want to guide them through the Purple Rain is like an apocalyptic theme to it, which I love zombies, I love apocalyptic style things, um, and I just love that each of these songs has so many theories and interpretations towards them. They're just so rich and deep in quality and in meaning, and it makes me emotional talking about it. Um, but yeah, this song has to be number one. It's just quintessential Prince doing what he does the very, very best. Okay, so that is my list of my favorite Prince songs. Uh, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.